Hello. Welcome, friends, to my living room, another part of my living room. And I hope you're all doing well. I hope that the prayers that are being said for all of you are giving you comfort and helping you to cope with this situation. I've been thinking an awful lot lately about our church families and how much I miss seeing everyone face to face. Although we have had chances to connect on Zoom or um, on Facebook, just finding ways to connect with all of you uh, brings such joy to me. And I hope that it will be a way for you to connect. In thinking about all of the ways in which I miss you and that we can't be together right now, I've also thought about how we are all God's people. And today um, I was on a Facebook Live with Martin Payne from Messy Church in the UK and he was mentioning about being all ages together for Messy Church. And it made me think about how even though we're apart, we're all God's children and we're all part of God's family. And it definitely brings us together. So I wanted to share, <laughs> some people have book collections, some people have statue collections. I don't really have a collection, but I have an awful lot of tea mugs and coffee mugs. And so, in a way, our church family is a lot like these coffee mugs and tea mugs. So I wanted to share with you, um, for instance, this, this gigantic one. It's actually, it has a lid you can put on it and it's for soup, but it has a Christmas pattern on it, but it is huge. I can stick my whole fist in it. Um, gigantic cup, okay. Um, there's, there's my old favorite. This has all kinds of Shakespeare quotes on it and it's a chip and it's kind of stained and beat up on the inside. Um, lately I think this, this cup reminds me a lot of, of me. Um, we have our Starbucks to go coffee mugs, which are handy. There's Seahawks mugs. Um, there's just like people in the church, you know, that like sports. There's people who like Star Wars, and we just had May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Here we have, weirdly, Yoda without a hot top of his head. Um, but we can drink out of that. We drink hot beverages out of that. We have inspirational ones. This one is Shine Like the Stars. I got this from my friend Brianna for, I believe, a birthday gift. Uh, but I love it. It's nice and sturdy. It's got a sturdy base on it and uh, it, Every time I look at it, it makes me smile. I have my patriotic mug for uh, You know, I'm an Anglophile. I love everything British and so my family got me this beautiful porcelain mug from England uh, with the Union Jack on it. So I love this one. You can even hear it, it makes a beautiful sound. Uh, I also have some very fancy things to which to drink tea out of. This is Royal Albert China and it's got a matching saucer and I feel so elegant when I sip my tea out of this mug. And then, uh, what about the little ones? <laughs> Here's a little demi tasse cup um, that was handmade um, by an artisan uh, in the Ocean Shores Washington area, but I just love it. Um, it's a Raku pattern with this a metallic sort of looking glaze on it, but I love it. But it reminds me of the children of the church. And uh, of, course, of course, we have the fanciest one. Um, I inherited this from my mother. It's from Austria um, and it's got a footed, I don't know if you can see the feet on the teacup um, and a matching saucer. Um, and it's super fancy. So like all of us, we have uh, people that are chipped and stained and broken. Uh, we have big people. We have little people. We have people that are always on the go. 
we have people that um, are funny or like movies or are Star Wars fans or know a lot about Star Wars. Uh, we have elegant people. We have fancy people. We have inspirational people, sports people, patriotic people, and everyday people. But one thing all of those cups have in common is that they're all cups. Just like all of us, we're all God's children, we're all God's people, and God loves us so much. In Romans chapter 12, I'd like to read you a little something that Paul has to say about this. It says, in the same way, though there are many of us, we are one body in Christ, and individually we belong to each other. We have different gifts that are consistent with God's grace that have been given to us. So even though we're all different people, I mean, we look different on the outside, we are different on the inside, we're all part of God's family. And when we're parted from our family, it's a really hard thing. What a gift that is to have the technology we have to be able to stay in contact with people we love. And that's why we reach out to you through all of these different ways, on Facebook, on Instagram, on our website, on YouTube, to try to be able to let you know that we think about you and that we care about you and that we love you. I hope this message has brought you joy today. I hope that soon we will be able to see each other face to face in some form or another. We don't know what the future holds, but one thing I do know for sure is that God loves us and is comforting us through all of this process. Let's pray together. Loving God, we thank you for your love. We thank you for these wonderful technological devices that keep us talking to each other even though we have to be distant from each other. God, we ask you to comfort us and walk us through this uh, hard road that we're on and bring us together safe and healthy once more in the very near future. In Jesus' name we pray. And all the people said, Amen.